here, but a uh, little bit of a flashpoint at the end. We'll maybe come on to that. How happy are you though to have got the win today, Keith? I, um, I think the pleasing thing is the, the manner, the manner of the win, um, because we didn't get things uh, all our own way. Uh, and I think they're a very good team. Um, they played to their strengths to try and suck you on. They've got good belief that they think their front, for, uh, their front players are going to cause you problems. We highlighted that through the week. Uh, and we said that uh, today's the day where our back four stand up, stand together uh, and defend as a, as a unit. And I thought they did that uh, to a man today. They were unbeaten in four coming into the game, but a stat that a fan's made us aware of that uh, I must admit had uh, escaped my research was that you're the first team in 13 in the league to stop them scoring. Right, got you. Well, uh, that's pleasing and confidence the, uh, that the back four can take from that. And I do, I do believe, not back four, but back five as well. I thought we nullified them. I can't remember Dan Hanford being stretched at all. Uh, throughout the 90 minutes, but but th th there was still a threat that had to be dealt with, and I thought our back four today stood up, uh, connected very well uh, as a back four and a, as a unit, and gave us a, gave us a platform uh, to go and play. And then I thought when we uh, when we did get good position, I thought we used it well. I thought we, uh, we were a threat, a constant threat, uh, but left, right, through the middle, uh, support and play. Um, from uh, from centre midfield and also uh, from fullback areas could very easily have been more comfortable as well today, couldn't it? Yeah, it, it could have been. We had good opportunities, but I think the pleasing thing is sometimes uh, good teams can win one nil. And that was one of those results, though, because towards the end it got a little bit more cagey. Certainly for the crowd. I don't know if you feel it did for your players. No, I think it's game management. Uh, and the, the, the pleasing thing was probably I was a little bit disappointed within the I think the last. A minute and a half of the first half, we decided to go and take a short corner, uh, and then lose possession of the ball. When you think that, well, no, that, you know, if we're all set up to do the short corner by armies, but no, don't put a down spot in play, thinking you're going to go and get two nil just before them. I, I would have been happy coming in at one nil. But so no game management, and then I think uh, we, we saw the game out very well when the board came up. Uh, I didn't have any illusions that, um, that they were going to catch us on a break. I thought our, our discipline was good. Uh, good organisation uh, and still up to threat. Speaking of game management, uh, five minutes went up at the end there, which we, I couldn't figure out where that had come from, but you kept the ball in their third for the entire five minutes. How pleased were you with that? Yeah, definitely. And that's something, you know, something that we do touch on about game management. Um, that you know, sometimes you know, you've won the game, uh, the 90 minutes is gone, they put the extra time up, see it through, uh, know your job, know your role uh, with it, within that. And I thought, the, uh, I thought the players did very well. What do you think underpinned this this win today? Then you know you, it had been a few games. You played against some good teams. It must have been very bruising in the FA Cup to, I guess, morale almost to lose in the manner that you did. What what went right today? I, th I think what it was. Um, I was driving them after the game, and uh, I was probably a lot, very similar to a lot of a lot of people uh, happy with the performance against Peterborough. But I had this feeling that there was going to be a lot of backslapping, a lot of a lot of well done's, unlucky um, coming the, the players' ways. So, so what I did uh, Monday, myself and Colin West, Monday was normally a recovery day. Monday was a work day, uh, and I mean, the players had a, a double session, uh, worked harder, and well, they call it bed. So uh, the strength and conditioning coach would be able to tell you the, the heart rate was uh, off the board. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, and it, we, we fully got. The, the disappointment of the, the Saturday's uh, result at the player systems and then everything then was geared to that work ethic, that work rate, taking it into Thursday, Friday in our preparation for what, what I knew was going to be a very difficult game and um, I think if we come out, if, if we come out today for, for a game of football I think they'd have caused us more problems than what they did. We came out today with the right mentality that we were going to stop them from playing uh, and then utilise our strengths um, and again I thought we did cause them problems. How impressed were you with the character?